we are the, the knitters, knitters are, are here. here and where are we at oh, well, around, around the table yards. Yards. yes and around the table is up here in northeast ohio and is it considered shaker we're in shaker heights. shaker heights yep. shaker heights with the co-owners beth and pam Hello. So Hello. thank you for Hello. having us. Thank you for coming. Oh, and, and Tebow. 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 He's our official greeter. Oh, and he yeah. is a good greeter. He's a good yes. greeter. It's a good shop dog at training. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and today we do have a live studio audience. So do you want to pop in and say hi? We have our friend Julia. Hello. Our new friend Julia. <laughs> our old friend. <laughs> our new friend Julia. So if you hear any side giggles, it's from her. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting us to this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shop. So stay tuned. We're gonna do some more filming. I don't know if we'll add it in here or if we'll put it in at the end. So because this is your new new section, space, right? New space. New space. Sorry, new and when did retail. it open? We reopened for retail on this side on March seventh. So Ooh, it's and it's for a month. much bigger than the oh old my gosh mm -hmm. with yeah. some new but it's inventory. Gorgeous, yeah. Mm -hmm. But do you Love still it. have the existing space? We do have the existing space. We, uh, uh, what are you doing over there? So we we were planning Stock. this space out, <laughs> yeah, and we realized that we were only increasing the total amount of square footage by three hundred square feet, and uh, we do shipping, we do classes, we do. Uh, back stock of all of this yarn and stash. I <laughs> stash. It's called the closet. Um, kind of. Yeah. In yeah. my house, closet. it's called the Halloween decoration. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have so, you guys ever seen the meme where it says, "My wife says she keeps all of her yarn in a box," and the husband says, "Quit calling, calling our, our house, house a box." box. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. The, the, the so, yeah. Space. so, so we had this moment of sort of revelation that if we built out this space and and moved everything over here that we would grow out of it nearly immediate immediately we can mm -hmm. sit down and order stock in two hours and fill 300 square feet in about an hour and a half wow. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. so just in a reorder we were gonna grow out of our space so oh. so we um we thought well what if we kept it what if we stayed on that side we already sort of had fixed it up and made it the way that we liked it? What if we kept that side and made it a classroom again? What if we had a separate classroom and um, and then also created a shipping area and receiving so that when we get big box, because when we were in the smaller space, we would get 12 boxes of yarn. Mm. Oh, of course. And, and that's half the nice. shop. And then, and right, then everybody's store. climbing over 12 boxes of yarn and yeah. you're trying to unpack it. So it really has made it... Um, like this space is never disrupted right. oh, by receiving nice. It's like not inventory. having the kids in this room. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, like, it's like having a parlor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the drawing room. Yes. Well, it's, it's the side that the, the carpet always stays vacuum. Yes. The vacuum art <laughs> still stays. Yeah, yes. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. So let's go back in time a little bit. How did Around the Table come about? How did you two meet? Where did this journey begin? Well, we were working the streets, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that just wasn't covering the cost of your yarn expense. It really all. wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Go ahead. We started, I started a knitting group. So I was um, not very well acquainted with a lot of people in Shaker Heights when I first moved here. And I was a knitter and I'd worked in the yarn shop and I thought, you know, a knitting group would be really fun. And so I started a knitting group and Pam came to it. She was brought by another mom. Someone saw me knitting at a swim meet and said, oh, this lady in Shaker started this knitting group. I'm like, oh, that sounds like fun. And we hit it off nearly immediately. Yes. Yeah, we did. But yeah. we met originally in Dewey's and it was the popcorn oh. shop. So it was on in Shaker, Shaker Square, Square when, yeah. that, when that was still there. And uh, every week we would meet and we would go home and our ourselves and our knitting would smell like popcorn. Oh. And, and, it, oh. and if we were lucky, it wasn't the day that they burned the popcorn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so we, go ahead. So we kept thinking there must be a better place. So your husbands yeah. knew the flavor of the week. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ooh, ooh, spicy cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> no, we started, we kept favorite. having these comments and then we had in and out people in the group too. And we'd be like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we had a place where we could go home and not smell like burnt popcorn? Oh, wouldn't it be nice if like, oh, I'm out of stitch markers. 
we can meet and get some stitch marks, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like a local like, workshop? Like a local yeah. workshop, <laughs> right. So we kept having blown. these conversations yeah. and finally Conception. somebody said, why don't you just open a yarn shop? So why did they determine that you had to open the yarn shop? Because <coughs> we're the ones who talk the most and okay. open our Oh, so okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty probably, much it. That's, yeah, that pretty tracks. much it. <laughs> and at the time I was also working at another, um, another local yarn shop at the time that has since closed and um, had kind of seen like, oh, I kind of went, you know, being an employee. So you both wishes. have worked so at local, local yarn, yarn shops. shops in the yeah. past. So, so, so you, you have your that internal kind of knowledge log and background. Of, yeah, the right. internal and what you, of what you wanted. And you knew what you were getting into. Correct. We knew what we were getting into, but we also knew what we really, really wanted. Yeah. yeah. We really, really wanted a place. We Well, the other part of our journey together was that I ran a knitting group at my church. And for years we met in the basement, in the Sunday school rooms, in the little kids' tables, on the little mm -hmm. kids' oh, chairs. In the little kids' oh, chairs. No. <laughs> yeah. And then one day they called me and they said, your group needs to meet in the boardroom this week because we're, we're repairing the tables or we're washing the floors or Something. we're vacuuming the carpet. Oh, I don't know what they were bummer. doing, but they, they we put had us in the boardroom. intro into big tables. And we sat at a boardroom table with natural lighting because we weren't in the basement in comfortable like executive chairs and I went downstairs and I was weekend. like we're never going <laughs> back, back to the, the Sunday basement. school room. We're never going yeah. back there. Yeah. But that was our first sort of experience of of a knitting group meeting at a large inclusive table. The community. And so, yeah. so that's also par probably why the table <laughs> is part of becomes our, a focal point. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really did, oh. yeah. And that's really where the, the community feel of it, of everybody around the table. And it harkens back to, you know, like a, a quilting circle mm -hmm. or a sewing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's something about that that is very comforting. Mm -hmm. Traditional. A very yeah. traditional. Um, oh, I welcoming. love after, you yes. know, holiday meals sitting around, around the, table the table with family mm -hmm. and talking. Yeah, you exactly. Know, the and kitchen I, table talk. I will thing. put a big shout out to Susan Brennan at Mass Avenue Knit Shop in oh, Indianapolis huge. because it was there that I started working when I lived in Indiana oh, okay. and Mass Ave Knit Shop is also known for a very long, very large table and there's Welcoming always table. room for everybody. So And mm -hmm. we would go and do weekend retreats there. I mean we if she wasn't we made a retreat. You're writing it down, right? <laughs> Mass Ave Knit Shop. Um, it's no longer on Mass Ave, but it's still oh, Mass Ave Knit Shop. Right. But it still exists. Even if she wasn't holding a retreat, we would just go and make a retreat. <laughs> <laughs> We've never We've done anything like yeah. that. No. <laughs> We're coming in. Um and she has she's Indiana. been a, a fabulous mentor just by being who she is mm -hmm. more than anything. But and telling us don't don't do it. Why don't why on earth would you want to open a knit shop? Your kids are she finally was, out of the house. She was why the would one you do who this? was like, Don't what are you thinking? <laughs> You've got your freedom, run. Right. You do hear that a lot, right? Yeah. From different shop owners around the country that are like, you know, it's all consuming, it's it's a lot of work and they don't recommend it, but yet we keep seeing it, so you must love all the ins and outs of owning a shop, right. running a shop, interacting with the work. people. Right. So the timing of it, we both had kids who were moving out of, uh, moving into college. So I was really active with the kids in school. I was. I'm a recovering teacher. I taught first grade for years, <laughs> and um, I was very helpful in the classroom. And then once they get to high school, <laughs> nobody, you know, kids yeah. don't want you there. Teachers really don't want you there. And I was looking for something. I needed to do something. Um, we both have really busy professional husbands who, you know. Sometimes they're not around. And not around. Right. Which we love. <laughs> they're not going to watch this, right? Oh, no. They're okay. Well, probably they will, but they're, they're buddies and they know. Um, <laughs> Good. Because you probably say that when they're standing in front of you anyway. We do. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. when are you going out of town? I try not to show my glee. You try not to clap when you're saying Exactly, that. exactly. Oh, dear, when are you going out? But neither of us are, like, sit at home. I mean, we needed something to fill our time. We both, you know, invested in, in our kids and, and kind of, I want to say accommodating our husband's schedules, but right. knowing that they needed to do what they needed to do. And now it's me time. And now it's our turn. Mm -hmm. And... And they're both incredibly supportive. It's oh, not man. like you're walking the streets. No, not, yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. not anymore. Not anymore. we have a justification for buying yarn. So. That's right. <laughs> Although my husband will tell you he's still not sure why the yarn out of the basement 
hasn't come here. <laughs> <laughs> when we were open, he's like, so when are we moving that stuff out of the basement? That's your I'm private like, collection. I'm like, honey. <laughs> He's it like, lives there. He's like, then why home. the hell are we opening a yard shop? <laughs> it wasn't to get that stuff out of the basement. It's collectible. Because I ran out of space in the basement. That's I think, right. I think exactly. there was also a point, too, in our personal lives where um, Pam turned 50 right around the time that we started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I had turned 50. And mm -hmm. it was, and I don't know if everybody goes through this. And maybe it's not 50. Maybe it's 30 or 60 or right. whatever. But I, I woke up and I was like, I want to do it my way now. I want to yep, do yeah. it. I don't want to be like trying to make it better for somebody else. I uh -huh. want it to be the yeah. ideas. Your own project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and so, I did you all a favor by not singing Frank's "My Way." That was in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So it it was definitely like a moment in our lives. I mean, it wasn't just about our husbands, and it wasn't yeah. just about our kids. It was like we have ideas. Yeah. We have right. plans mm -hmm. that we want to see. We have yeah, to realize a community yeah. that we want to see grow, and um, and that has been probably the most rewarding oh, part sure. of this job. So yeah, we love the yarn. Mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. but you will see in our store that it's not all about the yarn no. it's not only the yarn that's important it's really what happens at the table and we have people who um, whose kids have learned to, to knit here whose um, elderly parents or grandparents have spent days here because or afternoons here because it's a safe yeah. place and it's a place where they're um, yeah. included that's awesome mm -hmm. And incorporated into the life mm -hmm. of what's going on yeah. and so um, that community has really been a vital part of what the store is yeah. doing yeah now I want to move mm -hmm. I was just because I say, work from home so like right. I can move anywhere I mean he'll have to stay there but I want to move <laughs> so that I can be closer so I can come every well, afternoon I say the first time we walked into the store which was two years ago mm -hmm. was that the yard yarn discovery yarn tour. tour was your first tour mm -hmm. walked into the old space and it's small but it's four years ago. i was gonna say four four years years more than two <laughs> no, stop make it stop yeah. okay so it was four years ago 2019 we're don't in our wrong it we're was in our fifth year two. yeah i was gonna say four or five just years but but it was the just minute we walked in it was like Oh my gosh, I love this space. There was just, well, first of all, a dog greeted us. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> gotta, love that. gotta love that. Yeah. But it was just, there was just a wall to wall, <laughs> floor, floor to ceiling. ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking Everybody about the atmosphere. There, the atmosphere of all the people beautiful. in there was amazing. It was, amazing. was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, even though, and, and we came up for a local yarn shop. Um, day one, one you time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You came for yeah. Knit in Public no, Day. Knit in Public, public Day. day. Oh, yeah. 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 Which outside. was just really cool. Yeah. Really but cool. every time we've come to your shop, I have just felt like I love the shop. I wish I lived closer. Yeah. We yeah. actually hear that a lot. We which say is, that every time we leave, we're like, we're kind of bummed when we yeah. leave because we're like, when are we going to get up there again? again because right. it's so far for us. But My right. husband had asked, he's like, where are you guys going again? I'm like, oh, up to Shaker to around the table. He's like, that's that place with that really big table, and everybody said hi when we walked in. Like, yeah, he remembered that. Oh, that's yeah. so good to hear. He's yeah. just like, I know exactly where that is. Yeah. And that, it, it just, you don't know who I am. I walk in the door, the people are at the table. Hi! I'm like, hi! Well, and that was, <laughs> you know? that was actually part of our, in designing the, the business, is that, um, that's for everybody who walks in. We don't know who they are. Mm -hmm or what they're carrying with them or what they've got in their pocket and it doesn't matter. Um, everybody who comes in is welcome and we had both experienced and had friends who had experienced going into yarn shops and not being treated that way. Oh, absolutely. And I see absolutely. that absolutely. on, like, you know, different right. Facebook things and it's like, I can't even imagine. It's, it we is. We've been so fortunate in the yes. places we've gone. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, or, or going in with somebody of a different color or a different race and, and being treated differently than your friend, right. it was mind blowing to mm -hmm. us. So um, that was something that was probably like number one on the list that everybody walks in the door regardless. It doesn't matter. They're all, everybody is treated the same way where everybody Absolutely. is welcome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so in yeah. looking at this space, mm -hmm. um, so tell people what new products you brought in compared to your other space. Or new we, lines. So um, 
we eliminated some and we brought in new because even given like this is double the wall space of the other one but we also expanded so one of the things we did um, and you can see it behind me we carried this yarn but we displayed it in about less than half of this we area. would have had maybe two or cheap. three colors yeah. in, yeah. Each, yeah. in each in each cubby, cubby and we decided to what open it up is. so that each color could really claim its own space mm -hmm. which we know it's great yarn but it doesn't oh you don't know it's great yarn until you can really see it better yes. so we decided to just open up some of the things that we already carried and give them a little more room to grow um so the sheep just has gotten featured in these storage units and they're around the store and they're uh, sheep just is famous and i'm saying it wrong it's skipjus but it's, it's a skipjus Skip just skip. This. It's Dutch. Yes. Oh, and it means little ship, <laughs> not little like, sheep. It means little ship. Oh, okay. But it is well, just I'm easy. Never, oh, I always oh, said sheep yeah, cheese, yeah, yeah. and that's mostly oh, what we say. Yeah. sheep. But skip right, this. right, and that's just easier to remember. This but it's yarn metropolitan. Is, is, stop it. <laughs> the reason I was laughing earlier is because she just happened to pull out metropolis. Me <laughs> metropolis yarn, and we had a discussion one time how that the sweater, um, how that word was pronounced. Announced. Is it Metropolis or is it Metropolis? <laughs> so earlier when I wrote down Indianapolis, I went Indi Indiana Indianapolis. <laughs> I, I, I was able to do it then. Now yeah. that I'm on the spot. But so, yes, yeah. say it again how it's supposed yeah. to be. It's, I believe, and we're going to we have at least two Dutch customers who correct me every time. Yeah, but skip this. Wow. Skip this. So which you little, can't, which you can't bit, say all the time if yeah. you're Dutch. So we call it sheep just for the most part. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a J in there. Okay. Yeah. So this yarn is very popular in Europe. It's less well known in the United States. It's a little bit harder to get a hold of in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it is extremely popular with crocheters because as you can see, it comes in lots and lots of lots colors. Of color. And so, you know, knitters want co yarns that change color a lot of the time. Crocheters want to be able to make things in and I'm generalizing, so that's always wrong. But they want to have lots and lots of color choices. So the lines in sheep just have, you know, between 70 and 115 colors. And is this oh my fingering goodness. or DK? That's a thing. Fingering. fingering. It's actually a yes. sock. It's got it's some nylon sock. in it. So. And then behind me. Oh. So, so what we brought in new is Vivacious DK from Fiberspace. Which is awesome. I've used that in the it's past. beautiful. Yeah. Fabulous. We brought in um, three new yarns from Amano, which is a South American company that specializes in alpaca. Um, so we have Mayu and Chosky and... Amano? Amano. No, Amano's the company. <laughs> yeah. Amano, um, Mayu, Chosky, and... The Royal. The Royal one's Mayu. And then we have an eco um, alpaca Paca. that's black and it's undyed. Yes. And it makes wow. the most wonderful Sophie scarf in the whole world. <laughs> so we brought those in. So there's just a handful of things. Um, but we also extended some of our lines. So Sweet Georgia we'd had, and we had about 50 colors total. And sometimes we'd get different colors. Um, they had, they had um, a series of special colors that would come out seasonally, and we had those. But in, well, last year, um, Sweet Georgia brought out a whole new color system. Mm -hmm. And so 80 colors hanging up it's here. essentially 80 colors hanging here. So mm -hmm. the new color system is both vibrant, neutrals up here. The eth elixir is sort of like, I always think of them as glazed colors, layered and more yeah. glazed colors, mm -hmm. and then a pastel. And then on the right hand side, like this corner on the right, is signature colors, colors they couldn't say goodbye to. Oh, so great. they have said goodbye to hundreds of their colors. We took everything that we had that was left and put it in clearance. So our vintage, what we're calling our vintage, vintage. colors, are 40% yeah. off right now in our clearance. And we still have a fair amount left. We do have some. Me so we only she's carry it in, for the, it. In, the, <laughs> in the tough love sock because they do have many bases, we don't have. Mm. And that has proven proven for our customer base to be very popular, is the Tough Love Sock. So we decided to stick with what we knew would do well 
for the time being and, and then, then their party of fives they have party of fives and the party of fives are more than one sock skein so they're 105 yards of each so it's over 500 yards and you can make a pair of socks with them or you can make beautiful beautiful things so how do you decide is it collaborative between the two of you on what yarns to bring in or does one of you see something somewhere and you're like hey we got to check this out and bring this in both i think uh, uh, initially do you want to talk about bingo yeah <laughs> so initially initially we set up basically a yarn bingo mm -hmm. we wanted to have mm -hmm. we wanted to have we wanted to have all the weights of yarn and then in all of the weights of the yarn we wanted to have a um, hand wash and machine wash, a, a wool and a non-wool option because there are a lot of people who come in, I can't use wool. For whatever reason, they can't use wool. So we essentially created up this little bingo sheet and what were we going to carry? And we, we both had our favorites of things and we plugged in all these sorts of things and then we had to call it down. Right. So that's how it started and that provided the framework and then it has completely changed. <laughs> and then we had this floor to ceiling, wall to wall. Oh store right and and we have helpers now and our helpers will come to us and they're like you have to get rid of this yarn it's like but we well, love yeah. that yarn. Yeah. but nobody else loves that yarn right. you know we had to figure out and, and and i think this is for every yarn shop is what sells in your shop and what's not what always sells. just what you love exactly right. and, that was, and that was really hard that was yeah. really hard because we just gave away not gave, gave away, away. Oh, kind of gave away yeah. we just um we so, just changed out a couple of our yarns from Rowan to Ito, which is a Japanese yarn company out of, well, we get it out of Germany. So Ito yarns have some fabulous things that we don't think you can find everywhere. Rowan yarns are a little bit easier mm -hmm. to get. And so we wanted to have something that was a little bit harder to find. You've also got some other harder to find things like Tina's. Tina's, yes. Tina's yeah. Twisted Fibers, yep. She's a local dyer. Tina comes from Madison, Ohio. She was actually going to be here today. Um, she sent us a text uh, that her truck wasn't working. Yeah. Oh, we have an Aww. order. She usually, okay. she brings her stuff right. to us. Right. Um, she's going to be in the store next week for a trunk show. And this is actually a very special skein. This was um, 1,095 days. Tina dyed this for our right. third anniversary. Aww. And we planned all the colors with her. That's awesome. Yeah, she's a fabulous, very collaborative dyer. And we and, an absolute sweetheart. And an absolute yeah. sweetheart. Yeah. And she has she a does. pet skunk. She does. Scooter. She does. Scooter. She does. Scooter. Yes. Scooter. 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 Fluffy butt. Yes. Scooter McFluffy butt. McFluffy yes. butt? McFluffy okay. butt, yeah. yeah. So Tina um, is going to be doing a trunk show with us for Local Yarn Shop Day next week, both Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Um, she dyes yarns in every weight from... Yes, yes. I believe this is we where I Tina. first... Yeah. Where we first met yeah. Tina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah some of she did a giveaway for us. Yes. Right? Yeah. Some and it was at I that same that um, same show. Yeah. That is well, a that tried and we've had that same. color from the beginning. This is rusted Trap. steel. You know, that and was then rainbow two gray years are ago. probably her two most popular two colors in our shop. Although yeah. Jolene. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, Jolene. 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 She has a lot of love. Jolene. Jolene. <laughs> And she will sing that when you say her. <laughs> and she has that lovely little draw. It's, it's so nothing to do about her draw. <laughs> She's from Tennessee. So Tina actually worked with us because we wanted to do DK on a merino cashmere yeah. nylon base. So she provided a merino cashmere nylon base for us. And um, she, we also wanted a tweed. And so she dyed a tweed for us. Um, this is, we wanted to do some breed specific sock yarns and so she found a BFL blue face luster base to do sock yarns yeah. and then we also have added in this is one with mohair in it so mm. mohair is a naturally oh. strengthening right. um, fiber and it's really warm and comfortable in socks so we have mm -hmm. that she's Blue also calling my name. recently mm. done a special colorway for us we had a retreat and she was our guest dyer for the retreat so this is sweet treat for our retreat which was in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys go to a lovely location for your retreat. We do. Yeah, we're going to have to get to we one of those. We need to keep it on our radar. We do. Yes. And we'll be having that retreat again. Um, right now it's scheduled for August 3rd through 6th. So it's three nights. So it starts Thursday night and you go home Sunday afternoon. Um, we're talking to them about maybe doing a Sunday brunch so you can come to brunch in your pajamas and play bingo. Mm -hmm. I think it's, <laughs> and knit the day away. And knit the day away. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know a lot of the yarns say that. Yeah. They do. And, we're, and she, some of them get yes. pushy about it too. Yeah, right? yeah. Some of them are like just jumping Dang. into my bag. Like, what the heck? I will to come back to your question about picking yarns. Um, I will say since we set up the bingo, we still keep that framework in mind. Like, okay, we don't have anything non superwash in whatever you know. So we keep that in mind. But I think for the most part now, it's you know. Yarn reps come, we see what's new, and then we collaborate on that. And then every once in a while, like, look at this. I have to have it, you know. Mm -hmm. So we each have our passes for I have to have it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just easier just to accept I that. love this idea of the, the yarn bingo, because sometimes mm -hmm. you know you want to make something, but you know the person's not going to take care mm -hmm. of it, so it has to be in a washable. Mm -hmm. Or, yep, yep. you know. Or that person says they're sensitive to yarn. And, yeah, yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep. So, we, so, so the categories were like... Uh, for me, so we wanted to have something in every weight for me. We wanted right. to have something in every weight for my kid who is tough on whatever, mm -hmm. or my husband who's itchy, it's itchy, or <laughs> <laughs> or um, or the heirloom thing that you've always wanted to make. And so right. we've tried to have, or for the coworker's kid who you don't really know, but right. you still need to make something for, right. you know, and right. have no idea what's going to happen to it after it's left the yeah. 30 hours you put into it. Right. Um, so that, so, yeah. And there are still holes. Like there are still, yeah. there's still unicorns out there for us to find. Yeah. We would really like to have um, a super wash in an Aran weight. And most of the Aran weight yarns right now are all tweed. Mm. Mm. And it's weird. It's like they're all tweed. So we keep looking and yeah. and being It'll be there. It'll dissatisfied with the choices. Yeah. And so we have one thing sort of in place right now, but if we found it, we yeah. would we would go for it. Yeah. We don't have a pure linen right now. Mm. Mm. And we've been asked, but we haven't found a pure linen that we love so much that we want to keep it in the store all the time. Right. We have some linen cotton blends, but yeah. So what individually is your favorite part of your new shop do you have one spot i know what Tebow's like? favorite part is because you shared that earlier it's yeah. got the runway yeah. right. yeah. the dog yeah. likes to run yeah the runway um the light in here is so yeah. wonderful mm -hmm. so the other store faced south and um it would get so bright and so hot, hot. coming in the window that we right. locked it off because it was so hot <laughs> we get sun all day which you think it's lovely it's not it's horrible because you can't put anything in the window it fades, right, it fades. Yep. um so essentially we had to cover the whole thing up so while i thought we had lovely lighting over there it wasn't until we moved in here like that you realized and, the difference. and we have gone yeah. to lengths to have good lighting we um installed the light we didn't just accept what was in here we installed new lighting we put in spots and we also are really happy about having weirdly a northern facing window yeah yeah because mm -hmm. it's bright all day yep mm -hmm. but it's never doesn't wash out your colors yeah. it doesn't yeah, wash exactly. out your colors you can put things in the window yeah. it's never you know like heating up the store right, not right. Sitting it's, there it's really sweating to death it's really in the window. yeah what about you pam so i think my favorite you know i haven't in in the in the old space we each kind of had our own spot where we sat at the table because we didn't have an office we didn't you know we were kind of working oh. at the uh -huh. same time at the table so we had our spots and i do my favorite thing is really to sit where i can see people coming by and coming in and greeting people and just seeing their expression when they come in like <gasps> You know, and like, can I help you? Is there anything you're looking for? They're like, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna browse. I'm just gonna browse and touch. touch and and exactly, and exactly. Yes. Pet things and like um, that that's the part that I, I love interacting with people, and um, that's the part I miss about being a teacher is just that interaction with people all the time, mm -hmm. and um, and I love to talk. So I mean, I'll talk to anybody. So um, I that's I really love. It, that what part. was this store before? I w it was a candy store, store um, and it's still a candy store. Yes. Just, just no calorie mm -hmm. candy no store. Calorie candy store. Yes. No calorie candy store. No calorie candy sugar. store. Yes. High in fiber. High in fiber. High in fiber. High in fiber. High in sugar. Probably protein, too. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Ooh, so. I see stuff I want to go pet. 
Cats. I know it. And I do um, the Sweet Georgia right now. Every time I walk past, and I can't do it because we're sitting here, I just run my hand down that rainbow. <laughs> like a fence. I'd like, like <laughs> yep. as yes. I walk past because it makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. And I just love that you can see everything from everywhere in yes. the shop. Yes. Um, How do you have things organized in the shop? Is it by weight or it by is, brand? It is by weight. That was something that we were immediately agreed upon. Like yes. when we've walked into a yarn shop, oh, I have my cottons over here, and I'm like, oh. We went into one shop once. It was set up by color. Oh, <laughs> oh my! I know of a shop like that. It's yeah, it's an terrible. And it's um, <laughs> while it's awesome. visually beautiful, oh, beautiful, stunning. Yes. Hard to stunning. Find anything. Stunning. I don't think I ended up buying anything because uh, uh, it's uh, too hard. It's too hard. So weight of yarn is what it's always made sense to us. So we we start with the super bulkies by the register, and that whole wall works its way down through worsted weight. Mm -hmm. And this wall starts with DK and works its way all the way down to lace weight. And then in the center we have a few things that are facing um, sections that for the most part match their counterparts across. So, hi Tebow! <laughs> Doing laps. Do. Doing laps. Carrying yeah. his phone. And we, did, we separated mm -hmm. out like we don't specialize in synthetic yarns for the most part. We don't have that many synthetic yarns but we do have a really nice line of synthetic and we found that that is a destination for some of our yeah, knitters sure. and crocheters. And yep. so before we didn't have the... <laughs> he used his phone to knock out two green yarns from the cubby. That is hilarious. Uh -huh. you, <laughs> will, you will also notice when you come to the shop that the pom-poms are no longer at dog height. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We, we had to sacrifice a few pom-poms to, um, to the learning curve to the 10 month old puppy. Oh my so, God. so with the acrylic yarns, we put them, we have them all out as display yarn. So we have one skein of each color out. And then there's different weights of the two yarns that we carry from Scapius. And then we have two different lines. So one is a pure acrylic and one is acrylic made out of 50% recycled bottles. Mm -hmm. So, wow. and, it's, and, I, and it's the <laughs> nicest acrylic we've ever. It doesn't pill, it washes, it dries, and it doesn't. It doesn't squeak. Yeah, we, yeah, we get a lot I like oh, people will come in. That. Yeah, people will come in. Oh no, I don't do acrylic. I can't stand the squeaking. I'm like, let me just show you what we have because it doesn't squeak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there nice. are definitely ranges in the acrylic family, nice. and we hopefully have found the very best of what we've been able to find. Um, We've, of all of the weights of yarn. Yeah, we've tried to, we've tried to not just pick for name recognition. We've tried to really look yeah. at the value of the skein. Mm -hmm. Like at one point when we were doing the yarn picking, um, I was figuring out what the cost per yard was, like just to compare yeah. to see like is this worth it to get this sure. yarn versus this yarn because are you getting the best value mm -hmm. yeah. for money? So value and um, Quality is really, really important to us. We want our yarns to sort of yeah, stand the test. Knitting yeah. isn't necessarily an inexpensive is hobby. No, so, yeah. no. So if if we have a yarn in the store that's expensive, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we think it's really worth, worth the it. price. Worth it, right? Now, cool. do you you had mentioned that the other space is available for classes mm -hmm. as well? So how do you go about? organizing your classes is it a based on customer interest um new techniques like how and what classes do you yeah. offer yeah. yeah so we've always offered beginning knitting and crochet so every from, month from the very beginning except yeah. during the the worst parts of the pandemic we've always carried on twice a month knitting and crochet classes so one is on a weekend day and one is on a weeknight and um, there are two classes and Pam and I used to teach them and now we have other teachers which is really wonderful. Yeah. Um, our other teachers also have other interests so one of our teachers also teaches Tunisian crochet um, and does beginning Tunisian crochet and then our teachers are also interested in lots of things and so um, Peg is really um, passionate about color work, stranded color work, steaking, and so she's developed classes for that. She's really interested in embellishments. She's done like tassels and different pom pom, like how to make pom poms and tassels. Steaking. It's right for Allie. We just finished the steaking class. Yeah. She'll, she will offer it again. It's the this second will, time we've had it. Yeah, very so, popular class. Um, and then other members of our staff um, 
the Papillon shawl is a class. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a project that's very popular on Ravelry. It is not an easy project. No, um, it needs and mostly because the designer did a really amazing job at organizing the pattern, but you need to be walked through it if it's not yeah. if it's right. not your yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If it's <laughs> Well, yarn, this I, is I a yarn some... that needs to be highlighted. What is this? Uh, this is from this is Tebow Select. This is Tebow's Tebow favorite. Select. Queens, yeah. uh, yes, Tebow would like to recommend Queensland Coastal Cotton Find. It is he a needs lovely a new sweater. So maybe this is. Yes, what he's maybe he's, he's he's cluing you in. Like I need a green sweater. <laughs> right? He's a oh, Queensland's a, a, a brand you don't often find either. Mm -hmm. um, no, and we carry their um, we carry we this the, the coastal cotton and the fine fingering weight as well as the worsted. It is the nicest cotton. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of crocheting with it, and I love it. I really and we also it. have a yarn called United, which you can't reach, which is a lamb's wool and organic cotton Ooh. blend. That Ooh, is a where's sport that? Weight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really so, lovely. So we're so we we. Um, like we like Barocco and we have Remix. We have the whole line of Remix from Barocco and we have Wizard from Barocco. But we find Barocco a lot of places. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so we don't concentrate on Barocco. And we also are cognizant of that we are very lucky in this area that there are a lot of great uh, stores. Great we yarn are shops. So lucky. And but there's no reason for all of us to carry the same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, there are some things that are just kind of staples, like Malabrigo Rios. You're going to find a lot of places, but Malabrigo is always going to sell. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's it's popular for a reason. Right. Um, but then there are other things that we try to make our own little niche in. But um, you were talking about classes before mm -hmm. Tebow came in and and brought us this yarn. Sweater um, so so we developed. So like Pam and I are going to run two classes. Um, we're going to teach a crochet tee. Yep. and a, a knitted, knitted tee. tee and it's because every year we do um, we moved into our other space our original space on May the 4th I know and as a former teacher I love anything that requires a sticker chart Yes. And as it turns out, so do our customers. Yeah. Oh, so they'll stickers. do anything do for a sticker. Do anything for a sticker and a, and a prize on a sticker chart. So we've done, um, through the year, we do <laughs> contests. So uh, I could say that. I mean, I even went as far as yeah. buying a sticker machine because yeah. I'm obsessed with stickers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, so I suppose I, I go to Starbucks certain days to get my stars. So I yeah, get the same, the same thing. <laughs> so we started, um, we, did a, we do a May the 4th. Be your independent day t shirt. T -shirt. So between May 4th and July 4th, we challenge everybody to make a, a summer tea. And we provide some um, options, you know, different pattern options and whatnot and guide people well, towards what they want to do. It started with, we did the Church Mouse Simple Tea. Yeah. The first year we did the Rift. Was uh, it Rift? Was it Rift the second year from California Woolens? They did. In the Mojave. In the Mojave, they so did a marled one. And then we and then we let people pick pick what they wanted, and to they make. don't like picking. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> they, or they do. Some do. <laughs> some do, but some people are like, well, what am I going to make? I'm like, okay, here we go. Um, so, so this year, so this year we're going to we're offering um, Beth's going to teach the ranunculus, mm -hmm. which a lot of people want to make, but if you're on the newer side of knitting, can be seems intimidating. It seems seem intimidating. intimidating. So we're going to break it down. Not yet. Oh, I thought you. No. Oh, it's. Fun. I know because it's, it's really fine fun. yarn on big it needles. It doesn't have to be. Oh, it doesn't okay. have to. That's the great thing about it. Okay. And you then I pick a bigger yarn. And I'm gonna. Do I did it in a DK cotton. Yeah. Gorgeous. The first time. Yeah. It's go. a fun pattern to play with. And I'm gonna do spotting clouds, which is a crochet top that um, out of a fingering weight. We're gonna use it out of the whirl, which is a color changing, mm -hmm. about 1,100 yards of fingering weight, all the color changes. So. It makes a really fun. You learn some different stitches. It's so it's easy. It looks complicated, but it's not. So we're going to break them down into bite-sized pieces, so that by July Fourth, you've got a, a summer tea done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to offer. Nice. That's the first time we've done that. Offered a class in that to kind of hand, you know, handhold if you want to be led mm -hmm. through it. Um, we also do a series of free classes. We so do. we do. So all of our classes are on our website, and we break them down as either for absolute beginners. And there's always a class that's going to be held every month for absolute beginners. And then we have beyond beginners. And so that's our breakdown. But then on um, during the pandemic, we offered free Zoom classes. And they were mostly 
demonstrations of techniques or doing blocking or whatever. Mm -hmm. How to use Ravelry or, you know, different different topics that so, people had so suggested. Every, right? every week we did a different, like, hour-long class and we did it on Zoom and we recorded it and they're still available on our website. So yeah. there's still a resource that our customers can go back to and many mm -hmm. of them do. So um, coming out of the pandemic, we really liked that free class model. Um, that and we also, during the pandemic, gained a whole online we were never going to be an online business in the first like five years that was not part of our business plan mm -hmm. we wanted to be a community yarn shop mm -hmm. and the pandemic changed yeah. our community Everything. changed our community we're still a community yarn shop we still it's are just it's just community. a big big community but we gained just through word of mouth and people knowing people this very active zoom um customer base and and they're they're as much part of our community. I don't want to know. He's, he's trying to bury his bone. He <laughs> he's so trying to bury the bone in, in your desk. Okay, good. That's that's fine. Okay. Um, that's hilarious. I'm just wondering what I have to take out of inventory. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we still uh, host Zoom nights twice a week, and we've got people from California to Maine, Canada who join in with us every week. So we wanted to be, we still wanted to maintain that because they're as much part of our community yeah. mm -hmm. as the people yes. who walk through the door. Yeah. Um, we don't take any customers for granted. I mean, mm -hmm. they're part of our family and they are our family. So, so we, we started this Project Monday. Well, we started Sock Club during the, oh, yes. during the pandemic and it was a free sock class. And we just worked on a different pattern and we talked through the, the thing and it was recorded and it was on Zoom and you could go back and look at it. So. We started Project Monday. He's, He's really going, He's to, going to on town. something over there. Uh, we're, we're hearing background was, noises. Yes. <laughs> so Project Monday is um, alternates between knitting and crochet projects and is offered every Monday and it's a free instruction. So we do we initially only did it on Zoom. Um, and then we realized people wanted to come back into the store, so now we do it at 10 a.m. before the store opens, and then at 6 o'clock on Zoom every Monday, and we have a on our um, free events page on our website. You can go and see what we offer for Project Monday. But currently we're doing sock club, sweater club for knitting, and a granny square club and an amigurumi club for crochet. And so we've got these ongoing yeah. projects that people can participate in. Um, recently, Kate Atherley is the designer for the current sock club, and she came onto the Zoom and talked about the pattern and then de um, demonstrated the cast on yeah, yeah. for her socks Very for nice. us. Yeah. So you have everything broken down on the website. So everything listed, everything classes, in the store. hours. So where can we find you? What is the website? Aroundthetableyarns.com. Okay, and Ravelry. We're on Ravelry. At Around the Table Yarns. Instagram. Instagram, Around the Table, Table Yarns. Yarns. Facebook, Around, Around the, the Table, Table Yarns. Yarns. Not on Twitter. <laughs> Pretty Not straightforward. No. Mm -hmm. And we do a Monday Instagram Live. Okay. Oh. Um, every Monday. Um, at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock on Mondays. And we show new things in the, sto sh in the shop, what's on our needles. Um, it's mostly um, me telling her to stop ordering books. And <laughs> this past week we had... Um, we were highlighting the Sweet Georgia trunk show, so I started the Instagram. I started here in the shop, and Beth does it from home. And um, do you know that from Friends, where Joey wears all of Chandler's yes. clothes? So I put on everything all, you own. I put on all of the shop samples. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and there's, eight, them. there's eighteen. I put them all, all but two. There was a shirt that was not going to fit my postmenopausal body <laughs> and um, something else like that socks. one right I didn't put the socks <laughs> on but I so I put all of them on but I started with a picture of that of that Joey scene yes. and then I flipped the camera around and we've gotten big guts <laughs> out of that That's hilarious. It, including from sweet Georgia yes they, yes they were on the Instagram <laughs> recently so actually it's an opportunity too for us to do some of this kind of thing mm -hmm. so uh, yes. Felicia Lowe from Sweet Georgia will be our guest on Instagram. our Instagram Wonderful. live on, awesome. yeah, on yeah. Monday at 5 o'clock it will be recorded yeah. on our Instagram yeah. page. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. So that's just another way for us to just keep connecting with people mm -hmm. in a variety of ways. Mm -hmm. I just love that. So if somebody is traveling a distance to come to your store, mm -hmm. uh -huh, what do you have in the area that they also might enjoy? Well they should know we're open every day. Okay. 
So uh, mm -hmm. 11 o'clock in the morning is when we open every day. We close at 5, Just except on minutes. Tuesdays and mm -hmm. Thursdays. <laughs> And then we are located in a part of Shaker Heights that is a new development called the Van Aken District. Yeah. So in our building that we're in, it's an old sort of 1970s um, strip mall, but we have the most wonderful family-owned Mexican restaurant called Cilantro. We have a Donato's Pizza and a Subway, which we go to pretty frequently. But we also have all of the places that are part of the Van Aken District across the parking lot mm -hmm. from us. And that includes what's like a food court inside of their market hall. Plus, uh, Paloma is a Mexican restaurant. Shake It, Michael's Genuine. Is I there remember a spice shop, too. There's oh, there's a great like spice shop. There's a or air Ice or cream place Airbnbs too, or anything like that locally that if someone Ab wanted to make a retreat out of your Absolutely. store. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. there are a lot of Airbnbs and, in Shaker. And you're what, okay. 20 minutes from downtown Cleveland? Easily, yeah. And Easily. we're right at the end of the the, the RTA. 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 So, so yeah. okay. making a the weekend. Bus Lots of options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots mm -hmm. of options, yeah. Absolutely. This is, yeah. And we do have a retreat again in the summer. Huh? from the yes, 3rd August. to the 6th of August. Yes. Um, we started, our first retreat was in February and we are planning to do it again in February for two nights, but we have a three night retreat because we felt like maybe, th there's so much loveliness at the Bellwether Farm oh. in Wakeman, Ohio. Um, we'll be able to do more of their outdoor activities as well as sit and knit and sit and crochet. And you have that all outlined on your website. It's we all on the website. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, I do want to get some photos mm -hmm. of the shop, Great. if that's okay with yeah. you, and take a walk around, a little video. Um, thank you so yeah, much for having us. Oh, thank, thank you, you for coming. Goodness. This has been fabulous. Yeah. Please, yeah. please come check out yes. Around the Table. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. And yep. Look for it. wherever it is we're going to be next. Yeah, yes. that's yes. right. And local yarn shop days next weekend. I don't know if we'll have the video up by then, but well, well I will be out of town, yes. so it'll probably be a week before this gets out to yeah. everyone. But yeah. okay. wonderful. I'll try to get it to it as soon as yeah. I can. But so, yeah, yeah, come Tebow say hi to Tebow and say hello. Yeah. Yeah. Tebow's here every day, but Fridays and Sundays. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Good, right. good boy. Oh, well, <laughs> take care. And then once again, thank you and happy knitting. Happy knitting, Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>